guys. Hola, on Gaipi, Malalepo. It's your girl Valentina, aka the African Dominican. I am out here outside the Namibian Embassy. If you can see right there in the background, um, I am here to renew my passport. Uh, my Namibian passport expires, I believe, in March this month or next on, in May. I need to double check the date. So, anyway, I'm here to renew it because I have two passports. Uh, my USA passport and my Namibian passport. It's always good to have two because when I'm in Namibia, I use my Namibian passport. But when I travel internationally, I travel on my USA passport. But when I move around Africa, I'm using my Namibian passport. It just makes better sense that way. But outside Africa, I'm using my USA passport. So yeah, I want to definitely travel to Africa soon. Um, Everybody has been asking me when I'm going to Africa and I'm like, yo guys, it's on my agenda. You know, I go to Africa usually every two years, but because of Corona, I had to um, to scale back and it wasn't too safe. And also uh, my family got bigger. So you can't just go by yourself. You know, you have to plan for the whole family and everybody's schedule and school and all that kind of stuff as well and work, right? And also it's not cheap to go to Africa, guys. I can go to Dominican Republic, on a really cheap ticket between $300 and $600, you know? And it's only a three hour flight, sometimes four, you know, or six. Um, so it's much easier for me to go to Dominican Republic than to go to Namibia or Angola or Africa, period, you know? Like I said, to go to Dia, it takes like, what? Three to six hours, depending on what kind of flight you got. But then to go to Namibia slash Africa, it takes about 18 to 24 hours to go there, you know? And you don't just go for like two weeks or five days. You gotta go for a whole month, right? Because you gotta make the whole trip there worthwhile. And also the ticket is expensive. Like to go to Africa, you have to look at like budgeting per person, at least $2,000 per person. You know, because even the kids, you know, they, they, they gotta get their own seat. Because any child that's about the age of two, they gotta pay for their own seat, a regular adult seat. So, it's not easy to go to Africa, guys. So you, you see me go to Dia a lot because it's much easier. You know, it's like a short flight and I can go there for five days and come back. And also when you go to Africa, guys, you can't just go empty handed. You know, you gotta like, you gotta have extra money to spend there. You know, cause I mean like, I'm an African going back to Africa. Like I'm, go I'm not going on vacation basically. I'm going there to see family and you gotta go empty handed. You know, you have to at least budget $3,000 to spend while you're there minimum two to three thousand dollars minimum to spend while you're there because when you go there you got like you got buy food for the whole house pretty much it, well not every house you know like when i go to namibia my dad's another family i don't really gotta buy much but i should <laughs> i should buy some stuff but it's already taken care of you know but my mom's side of the family you know it's like you go there and it's like you gotta spend money you like you like you you, you basically the breadwinner while you're there Gotta buy food, can help pay the bills. Mind you, some some of us also like sometimes you already help with paying the bills. You know, you already been sending money there to cover some bills or some emergencies. And when you go there, you, you know, you gotta like you gotta buy food. You know, you gotta you know people come to you with all kind of problems. Everybody wants this and that. So when you go there, it's like you like a bank. So you can't just be like, okay, let me pick up and go to Africa. No, you gotta plan. Do you have money to spend there? Do you have at least $2,000 to spend there? How about your ticket? Can you take off at least two, two, two weeks to four weeks from work? All right? And how many of you are going? Are you going with the whole family? You can't just go by yourself. If you go by yourself and you have family, everybody's gonna be looking at you like, where's everybody? Why are you here by yourself? You know, it's like, we, um, like why are you here by yourself? We don't, <laughs> we've seen you before many times. Where's everybody? And then I said that, hey, to come with the whole family, you gotta spend at least thousand dollars, you know, for each family member, and then it's like food and everything. So, yeah, it's like people are there. I don't think they understand that <laughs> to come there is expensive. It's expensive, airfare, food to eat while you're there, you know, and also like thinking of the whole family. And when you're there, like when I go to Africa, I never feel like I'm on vacation. I always feel like I am. Um, I'm just like living my other life, you know. Yeah, I can sleep in a little bit late. Oh, sleeping in late. You can't even sleep in that late, you know, because everybody wakes up so early in the morning. And I'm like, oh, walelepo la kela. Like they just start greeting everybody in the house. Walelepo, eh. And if you sleep till 12 noon, I'm going to be looking at you like, are you okay? Is everything okay? Are you feeling well? Are you sick? 
you're like, no, I'm on vacation for crying out loud. You know, because they all wake up early and everybody want to be around you. So you can't just have your me time like that. So you have to kind of like have this mental thing going before you go there, you know. Um, so yeah, you like, in, in most households, you know, you're like the breadwinner when you're on vacation. You buy food for everybody. Um, you pay for expenses, expenses you know, tra traveling around, going here and there. You have to pay for gas. You have to pretty much pay for everything. And then also, um, some of, some of my friends, you know, like they told me that when they go to Africa now, they, they, they book a room in a hotel. But sometimes it's actually cheaper to just book yourself in a hotel. It's more peaceful to just book your hotel room and then go and visit your relatives. Don't even stay in their houses. So some, some of my friends have started doing that. So I think I'm going to start doing that too. I, mean, I love my family. But sometimes to have your own privacy and to really feel like you're on vacation and then do things, you know, by your own time and schedule. You have to kind of book yourself into a hotel or an Airbnb. But if you stay with relatives, oh no, they are, yeah, you're gonna be like, ah, everybody wants to see you, everybody wants to get up early, you can't do this and that. So, yeah, so sometimes you just go to book your Airbnb, stay there, and then go and visit everybody else. But then if you do that, the family will ask you, why are you staying in an Airbnb when we have a room in a house? We have a whole room for you, why are you staying? somewhere else they won't even get it they'll think you're wasting money but really you're saving money by staying in an airbnb that's staying with them in a the house because like you can buy all food just for you and your family you know you don't have to buy food for the whole family of like 10 sometimes 10 people sometimes more than five imagine you you go with your own family and you can buy food for everybody else as well so you're feeling like 10 plus people for the whole month <laughs> you know sometimes it's like that in some families it's not so guys to, um, to say this like when you say africans and you know they have to kind of like plan their trip home just know that sometimes it's not cheap you know you have to plan you have to plan financially you have to make sure you're mentally ready you know yeah so but i do like going to africa it's beautiful i like to go home you know um to see everybody so i can't wait to go so that's why i'm here getting my passport renewed you know i don't have to get it renewed but i like to have to have it renewed because i feel like connected to the country um, even if even if I only use it when I'm on the ground, still it's just good to have your African passport, Namibian passport, current. You know, keep it current. Cause sometimes you never know what happens in the USA or anywhere else in the world. You know, if stuff start going down here and everybody's running for their life, at least you have a second passport just to run to another country. You know, and you can. You know, so it's good to have at least two or three passports. So that way you're never stuck in one country. If mess happens here, hey, you have another home to go to, right? Or if mess happens in Africa, hey, you have another home. To go to right so never like put all your eggs in one basket not in today's world you know so anyway guys let me go up in this um let me be an embassy i already know my passport uh right now i'm recording with my gopro uh it's about to die so i'm gonna record with my new phone that i got and let's see how the quality looks like so this is being recorded with a gopro 9 and the battery is dying so i'm gonna whoop out my um my s22 ultra that i just got two days ago all right guys and what is our mission about namibia um i'm gonna show you guys um a few videos about namibia um so you can kind of like get an idea of how namibia is like um and you know kind of like so you can get an idea of how namibia is like um it's a beautiful country and yeah so stay tuned stay tuned for more namibia videos i'm gonna show you guys how it's like to travel to namibia what i see what i experience when i'm down there all right Thank you guys for watching. See the Namibian flag flying high? I'm gonna sing the anthem. Namibia, land of the brave, freedom fight. We have won. Glory to their bravery, whose blood waters our freedom. We give our love and loyalty together in unity. Contrast in beautiful Namibia, Namibia, our country. Oh, be love the land of Savannah. Okay.
okay means applaud applaud so applaud for me guys 